Welcome. In this video I will show you how you can move from one scene to another and using the fade effects on your scene so it uh, will look very nice. So if I walk in here you can see it's fading out and now it's fading in. Yeah, let's get to it. So what I have here in my scene is uh, a player. The player uh, has a movement script, we have a rigid body on him and we have a capsule collider 2D. And then I have my portal here, or my door. And it's a simple sprite with a box collider on it. Let me go to the scene view here. And I have just adjusted the collider, so I will change scene when I hit into this one. And the box collider should have trigger turned on. Good. Now let's create a script and call it change scene. Go to your portal, drag the script to the portal, open it up. In here, we will need to add using, sorry, let me zoom in a bit, using Unity Engine dot scene manager. Then we can make a on trigger enter. Remember to choose the 2D. And if the collision dot game a bit attack is equal to the player, then scene manager dot load scene. And then the name on the scene. And in my case, it's scene two. Let's save this, head back. And as you can see here uh, in the bottom here, I have a scene one and I have a scene two. Let me go to scene two. It's just a duplicate of uh, scene one. The only difference is that uh, I have uh, the name here. If you go to game view, uh, sorry, let me delete this one. If you see here, I have scene two and in scene one, it will stay scene one so we can see uh, the difference. So now on the portal we have add the script. Remember in your build settings to add both your scenes. So if I hit play now, I move to the portal, it will go to scene 2. Good, so now that function is working. Now let's get it to fade. So let's create a new script and call it uh, fade in out. Let's let it compile and open it up. In here, we will need a public canvas group and we can just call it canvas group. We need a public bool for the fade in and set it to false. And we need a public bool for the fade out and let's set it to false. And we need a public float for time to fade. We can delete the start function. In the update, we can say if fade in is equal to true then if the canvas group dot alpha is less than one then canvas group dot alpha plus equal time to fade multiplied with time dot delta time and then if the canvas group dot alpha is uh, greater or equal to 1, then fade in is equal to false. So just uh, to quickly ramp it up, if fade in is true, then it will take the canvas alpha and yeah, it will check if the canvas alpha is less than 1. If, if it is, it will take the alpha 
and plus uh, a number to the to the alpha, so it the image will get uh, more and more uh, dark. And we will do that with this time. And if it's it if it's uh, one, then the fade in will go back to false. Good. So we can take all this, copy it, paste it below. And here we have to say fade out is equal to true. Then the canvas group dot alpha is less or equal to zero. Then the canvas group is minus equal time to fade. And when it is equal to zero, then the fade out is equal to false. So here we are, we are uh, fading in, so the image will get uh, totally dark. And here it's the opposite way. It will go from dark to, to yeah, remove the image. So to control this, we need two functions. We need public void fade in, and he will say fade in is equal to true. And then we need a public void for fade out, and fade out is equal to true. So let's save this. Head back. And now on your portal, we can add fade in and fade out. Now we need a canvas group. So on your canvas, create a UI image. Press the, the transform here, hit Alt, Shift, and then press down in the right corner. Then it will uh, stretch to a full screen, make it dark. And on that, we need a canvas group. And in this scene, it has to fade out or fade in, sorry. So it has to start on zero. Remember to remove the block raycast. The block raycast means that uh, if you set it to, to one, uh, if it's one or even if it's zero, right now it's, it has the image overlain here. The alpha is just zero, uh, a kind of transparent, but the rake, the image is actually still there. So if you have this checked on, you can't click anything because right now you're actually clicking on the image. But if you do this, you will remove the, the possibility to click on the image. So the image is still here, but you, you can click uh, through it. So now on your portal, let's add this image time to fade let's set it to one and now we need to to start the fade so open up your uh, change scene script again we need to change some things here so now we need to get a reference to to the fade so fade in and out let's just call it fade and in the start we can say fade is equal to find object of type and here we'll Fade, oh, fade in and out like this. So now we have a reference to the fade script. We can remove the update, and here we'll need to make an i enumerator. So public i enumerator, and we will call it change scene. And yield return new wait for seconds one like this and we need to take this and put it here oh we can't call, call it the same as the script is called so let's just say underscore here change scene and a carotene is is actually um what to call that it's a uh, when you start this, it will wait for one second and then it will change the scene. So before it changes the scene, we need to say fade dot fade in. So now we're calling the fade in. Oh, was it not fade in? 
yeah, fade in. So, and when it's done fading in, we will wait for one second and then we will go to uh, scene two. So, hit down here. We will start the coroutine instead. And we will start the change scene coroutine. So when we hit the, the, the portal or door, then we will start the coroutine. So we'll, it will jump up here. It will start fading in. Wait a second. Go to scene two. So let's save this. Hit back. Let it compile. Let's see if everything is set up. Everything should be good. And you can adjust the time to fade here. If you want it to fade out faster or slower, you can simply just uh, change this number. So now when I go into the portal, it's fading out and it's changing to scene two. But when you go to scene two, it still looks weird because it doesn't have any fade on scene two. So to create that, go to scene two. Let's make a empty object here. Let's just call it fade. Add the fade in and out script. Here we need an image as well. So a UI image. Again, click the icon up here, Alt Shift, stretch it to full screen. On scene two, we need it to be one. Remember to remove the block raycast. And then you can see when we enter this, this scene, it should go from one and go down to zero. So take the fade script. Let's create a new script. And this one, uh, let's call it uh, controller. Add it to the fade. Open it up. Now we need a reference to the fade again. So fade in and out, call it fade. In the start function, fade is equal to find object of type. And here we will look for the fade in and out like this. And when this scene start, we need to fade dot fade out like this. Oh, it was this one fade out. So save this, hit back. Oh, remember on your canvas here to drag your image here and time to fade out. Let's set it to one, hit back to scene one. Now let's see how it looks. Let's walk in here, fading out and fading in. So that is how you can make this cool uh, fade in and out effect when you are changing scene. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time.